kind of started i had my coffee i'm drinking my second cup of coffee alex and i went on like our little morning date type of thing to um get breakfast we always do that on his like fridays so yeah we got breakfast it was so good i'm telling you guys like i feel like burger king breakfast sandwiches like their tater tots and french toast sticks are so slept on so yeah we just got back from our little breakfast date in my previous vlog i remember mentioning Chuka, why are you making all the noise like in the world? Could you just sit still for one second, please? Just sit down, bubble. I remember mentioning in my previous vlog, I couldn't focus. I need to just like get back on track and like start getting a to-do list or something going because it's just really hard for me to... Chuka, please sit still. <laughs> it's just really hard for me to focus. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna work on a to-do list and I'm gonna kind of like voice it out loud. Um, I know I want to I vacuumed the carpet already, so that's done Then I also need to go to Kohl's to return an Amazon thing and then I wanted to go to Crate and Barrel for some new wine glasses Cool, so today's just gonna pretty much be an errand state It's gonna be me doing all the things that I push off on doing like returns. I hate returns I wasn't vlogging this if I didn't see it on camera I would completely avoid it at all costs because that requires human interaction all that stuff done today because you guys are keeping I just me. tried to recreate like this like makeup TikTok hack and it ended up just making my nose look so muddy let choka out and then i'm gonna show you guys the stuff that i got from misguided basically i'm gonna be showing you guys everything that in my previous vlog i mentioned how i did like a full misguided try on haul like a full-on sit down video and the full production but then the sound quality was bad the picture quality is bad so i figured i might as well just like candidly show you guys as if i was like trying it on for a friend or something and just showing them what i got so that's what we're gonna do, keep it candid. Then let me know what type of try on video you prefer. If you prefer the full shebang production or if you don't mind like a more casual try on haul type of thing. Oh, I also ordered recently some more stuff from the Carly Bybel Misguided collab. I got a dress and then like this really cute mesh top. The dress I'm really excited about because I do have a wedding coming up and I did order a dress from Amazon that I do really like, but the dress in that collection was just so pretty. I was like, okay, I need this. And then I also have my sister's wedding coming up too that we have like events for before the wedding. So I was like, okay, I can decide what occasion I wanna wear it for. So pretty. And then I also got um, another dress from Amazon that was really pretty. So weird, cause I normally hate myself in dresses. I don't know why, um, I just do. Also, this is a random rant. My brain goes everywhere. So. I always hated myself in dresses because I felt like the bottom pouch of my stomach was like relatively um, big for my size, if that makes sense. Like I feel like I'm like small framed up here and then when it comes to my hips and the lower part of my gut, it kind of like pudges up a little bit. But then I started realizing, I'm like, is it really, am I just focusing in? Cause when I see other people wear dresses, I think that they look beautiful regardless, have little pouches or things like that. Like I don't even pay attention to that. But on myself, it's like the first thing that sticks out and I think it looks awful. And I was thinking, I'm like, is it social media? Like, is it all the face tuning and the angles and all of that that we see on social media that like something that I'm sure majority of girls have and deal with, I'm thinking like I'm the only one with it and I think I look weird. Like, I think I'm just in my head too much. So that was something I wanted to talk about because if you guys feel a certain way about something that you wear and you don't like something because of, you know, this little lump or bump or whatever, I'm starting to realize, I think it's just like a social media thing and we're so used to seeing everything like face tuned and tuned out and photoshopped and all of that, that we forget what a normal human body looks like and how it's completely normal. Not to mention shapewear is a thing too. So yeah, that was just a random rant that I wanted to talk about because I came to that realization yesterday and I was like, anyways, let's take a Really cute blazer. I love how it's like dual toned. Kind of reminds me of one of the blazers that I tried on in the Nordstrom anniversary sale. It was actually a coat, but it had that like two tone effect of like a light plaid and a dark plaid. And I wanted to get it so bad, but it was 
very pricey and I was like this kind of gives me that same effect but it was only like 30 bucks so this is how it looks on and I thought that this would look really cute with like a black skirt or um some black denim I'm gonna put on the black skirt so you guys can get an idea so this is that blazer this is how it looks with the skirt and then I just have it with some mules but it would also look really cute with some like knee-high boots or some combat boots and I also got this brown one so then this is that brown blazer. It comes down to a nice length too where it'll cover your butt so you could wear it with leggings. But I really love this outfit with just like some simple black booties. These booties are from Love Raid. They are my favorite because they are so comfortable. And yeah, this is such a cute outfit. I also got this sweater vest, which I've worn in a ton of videos, but like this would look really cute even just thrown on over this outfit for like a cute little crafty moment. I also have like a pleated skirt that's like this color right here that I feel like it would look cute with. I had like a black collared long sleeve top with a little collar peeking through. That would be so cute as well. Definitely wouldn't wear it. I don't think I'd wear this with an all black outfit though. It does not fit the vibe, but you get the idea of the top. Very cute, very trendy. I got this sweater that is like so soft and cozy. And like, this is just like the perfect sweater to throw on over some like leggings or you could wear it with like jeans, but it's just so soft, so comfy, has really nice balloon sleeves. I love the oatmeal color on it too. This would even look really cute with like, if you did a oversized white button down peeking underneath of this with like the white collar on top, that would be so cute. This is how it looks on, it's just so cute. Obviously with like leggings and not the outfit that I have on, but just love the ribbing on it too. Oh yeah, I have another sweater that's downstairs that I'll run up and grab. It's like a cropped, it's a really cute cropped brown sweater. And I got two pairs of pants. So I am. this is probably the thing that I was most excited for in my purchase. They are just these simple black long leather pants. They have the slit on the bottom. They are so comfortable and so cute on. They're kind of like, they give me that Aritzia Milena leather pants um vibe except for these were only 30 bucks and the melina pants from aritzia are like 180. granted the quality on this is definitely not no aritzia quality it's like very stretchy it's it's not going to give you that like really strong structured leather look but it's still super cute they're so comfortable and the fact that they are stretchy like it makes them be leather pants that I actually want to grab for because I won't feel restricted in them. This could be a cute outfit moment. And I just have it with heels. You could also wear it without the blazer and just like the black top. And it could just be a moment like this. This is how the pants look in the back too. They're like, they don't give you pancake butt, which is what I really like. They're not going to be too tight or restricting. And these I actually got in a size four. Totally wear the pants with like oversized flannel and some white sneakers and because it has that little slit it just looks so freaking cute like these are just so comfortable okay so i also have these pants which i kind of want to return they don't look that flattering on and i just pulled it out of my drawer and it got these little like scuffs and stuff on it there's been a few times where i've ordered something beige from misguided and it ends up coming in more of like a yellow material it's hard to see on camera but it's just like more of like a eggshell yellow so all of the beige sweaters and tops that i planned on wearing these pants with don't really go i'll probably play around with these i'll show you guys at least i guess how they look on real quick these are how the pants look like on i guess they don't look too bad styled like this i actually do kind of like them this outfit I'm actually not mad at. From the side it looks cute too. My only thing is, is it's like the butt area. These actually give me pancake butt to where it's like a little bit restricting here to where it like pushes your butt in, which drives me crazy. And I got these in a size four as well. The thighs is where it gets like a little bit tighter. So yeah, but I do like it with the sweater. The sweater kind of covers up the back a little bit. And I have them paired with these booties that I got from Nordstrom Rack last year. I lied. I think I found a cuter way to style the beige pants. Also guys, I have no idea what's going on with my hair. So I have the pants paired with these combat boots that I got from Target. Tell me these aren't the most beautiful creamy boots. I like them because they match the tone of the pants. They both have more of that like yellowy beige tone. And then I have it paired with this yellowy beige turtleneck top that is from Walmart. It was literally only like 12 bucks. It has like a really pretty rib detailing. Super soft and cozy. And then this little like faux 
fur um, jacket that I have from Uniqlo, but you can find jackets like these anywhere. Again, the look at it compared to the pants. It's definitely a little bit pinkier than the pants, but in person, I feel like they go together a lot more. I think that this is a really cute outfit. And then there's also this flannel that you could wear with, the oh, this is a cute outfit. This is a, this is how I would wear it. So I have that turtleneck top, like I said, from Walmart. It's by the brand Time and True. The quality of this top is so nice. It's so buttery smooth and just like warm and cozy. And then I have it paired with this flannel that is also from Walmart. This is from the men's section and it was only like 11 bucks. I got it in a size extra large and I just love all the creamy tones throughout it. And then again, with those misguided pants and then these Target combat boots that were only like 29 bucks. And boom, you have yourself a super affordable, super cute, outfit and then last but not least we have this adorable cropped table knit sweater with really pretty balloon sleeves because you guys know I cannot have a sweater without balloon sleeves I love the length that this comes to and I believe I got this yes I got this in a medium so that way it would still be kind of like bigger and baggy but it still comes to a really nice length I feel like a lot of times with sweaters it's kind of awkward to wear them with like jeans or pants because sometimes they either don't come low enough or they come like to an awkward length here but this looks perfect with like these high-waisted leggings and honestly i actually really like this outfit right here with just like the beige on the bottom and then this little like pop of warmth up here but like always i'll leave everything from the haul linked in the description box so check it out they are affiliate links so i will get a commission if you end up purchasing any of the pieces but i always give you guys my 100 percent honest feedback on everything and yeah, I'll also leave the like Walmart stuff that I showed you guys that are so cute. I've already worn that flannel that I showed you guys like five, maybe more than that, like five to six times already. These um, cream boots that I got from Target, I've worn like so many times. So yeah, all of that will be linked below. I'm gonna go run some errands. I'll take you guys with me here and there. See you guys. All right, so this is the outfit I ended up going with. I wanted to cover my butt, so that's why I went with my Walmart flannel. I'm telling you, this is like my 10th time wearing it. This is a crop tee from Target. It was only like eight bucks. And then my Supergas. And then a necklace that Alex got me. This is, necklace is from Dude Set by Viv. It's one of my favorites. Earrings are from Amazon. A really cute but like super comfy outfit. I also didn't feel like doing my hair so I clipped it back in this big old clip from Amazon which I love because it holds all my hair so easy. I look cute, I look like I'm trying, but I'm so comfortable. All right guys, this is your sign to go to Kohl's for one. It was so hard for me not to want to get every single Christmas decor because they had such cute Christmas stuff all already out and like everything was like 30 to 40% off. And then when I returned my Amazon um, package, for one, the reason why I ended up coming to Kohl's instead is because you don't need the box or the return label. So, and I don't have a printer. So that was the only reason I came here, which I think is the best thing Kohl's could have done because other than that I never think to come to Kohl's but literally I was distracted walking around the entire store just because of my return not to mention the Amazon return is in the back of the store so they marketed it beautifully because you come in you got to go all the way to the back of the store you get distracted by everything and yeah I think that's like the best like marketing and just business idea ever so there was that, I went to the back of the store, but like I literally was like browsing around the entire store before I even returned the item. Then when you return your item, they give you $5 Kohl's cash that you can use right away, which I didn't even realize I could use right away. So that entices you to shop more. They had these little hand mixers. I've been wanting one of these for like whenever I just want an instant smoothie. But on Amazon, they're like 20 to 30 bucks. This one was originally 25, got it for 9.99 and I was able to use my Kohl's cash and I got it for only $5.31. And then if I would have had more rewards, I could have gotten it for even cheaper. So yeah, this is your sign. Whenever you're returning something from Amazon, go to Kohl's and honestly just go to Kohl's in general. They had like the cutest clothing too, cutest Christmas stuff. Like I'm definitely gonna just, any returns I have to do for Amazon, I'm coming here and I'm definitely gonna like pop in here more often to do more shopping cause it's so cute. Okay, now I'm gonna head to Walmart, get the rest of the stuff. And I'll talk to you guys. See the foliage? It's so pretty. The camera never does it justice, but it's so pretty here. I'm a terrible vlogger and I get so awkward trying to, like I cannot vlog in public at all. But I just left Crate and Barrel and I also walked around West Elm. 
It's so cute, the little um, like strip that I was walking around. It was seriously so cute. It's like a little strip with restaurants, stores, and then there was a bunch of like trees around where they were changing colors. It was just a vibe, and the weather was so nice out that I just wanted to like stroll around, but I'm like, okay, no, I need to get home now. They had a lot of cute stuff. They were putting up all of their Christmas stuff, which was so nice too. So I'll see you guys when I get home. Wash. Okay, this is what you guys are currently sitting on top of. Um, I just got back from Crate and Barrel. Drinking water out of a wine glass because it just tastes so much better when you drink it out of like a fancy glassware. But from Crate and Barrel, I'm so excited about this purchase. Elvis is gonna kill me because I got more glassware and he's like, our glassware is like busting out the seams of our cabinets. But look how beautiful these are. Oh my gosh, they're huge. This looks like a joke. But tell me that's not stunning. They're so pretty. And they were only, I think, like $6.95 or $6.50 or something like that. So freaking beautiful. I'm literally obsessed. I should have waited and put my water in here. I have a friend coming in town who loves wine. And so I just wanted to get these so when she visits, we can have a glass. And it's like super cute. I'm so picky when it comes to wine glasses because I don't like for there to be a ridge and I like for it to be like thin but still sturdy so it won't easily break and this is like exactly that. Oh guys this is super random but these little sesame honey cashews from Trader Joe's are so good and so addicting. I got them last week and I was hooked and then I also got I'm gonna show you guys then these Trader Joe's quinoa and black bean tortilla chips with the vegan tzatziki from trader joe's so good so addictive so just be warned if you do end up getting it it's really hard to stop once you start i'm gonna put everything away and then i'm gonna start prepping dinner see if i'll end the vlog here or not i'll come back if i need to end the vlog <laughs>